There is something in the air in the Couch and Valley, and it's not good. It's pollution. And the Vancouver Island Health Authority says the levels are so high, they're putting your heart and lungs at risk. It's a problem that has existed in the Valley for years, but it is not getting any better. So now VIHA is working with local government to find a way to clear the air once and for all. It fills the sails and can fill our hearts with patriotism. But how much thought do you give it? Describe the air for me right now. How do you describe the air? Come on. Okay, it's a tough question. Government officials in the Cowichan Valley, however, seem to have found an answer. The problem is our air quality has been worsening. For three years straight, the Cowichan region has reported air quality levels that are leaving a bad taste in the mouths of scientists and doctors. The specific monitoring is indicating, as many people suspected, that the air quality during the wintertime in particular exceeds the BC air quality objectives. To blame are scenes like this. Health officials say nearly half of the air quality issues are due to backyard burning. It's banned in Ladysmith and Duncan. Now the district of North Cowichan wants to snuff out the flames. The problem is our air quality has been worsening. So we're trying to prevent it uh, from getting worse. Take a deep breath today and you won't notice any issues with air quality in the Cowichan Valley. But health officials say even on the most clear days, air here can pose a serious risk to those with respiratory problems. I've had allergies here and I've never had allergies in my entire life. So me and my son both have suffered for the past couple of years actually. Describing air may be a difficult task, but in a place where air quality is being brought into question, most agree on one answer. Could use some improving. The North Cowichan District will now commission a study on eliminating backyard burning and formulating a plan to do away with old wood stoves. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Duncan.